Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for a Fook Street video. It's time for the Egyptian event to start. We've got cool decoration plus lots of food to do. So let's get right on into the game and have a look at what we've got to look at and prepare as we move into this event. Right, we click on the actual icon. The event master gives me some assorted meat, Egyptian bread for the Pharaoh's feast. Some additional tokens to use and do I have any orders? I do. We've got some mint and milk. We've got some wonderful Alexandrian sausage from King Tut's hut. We've got some tea down there as well. I'm looking forward to preparing those. Well, we'll collect the resources we got down there to start with and get those up and running for the next event. As we come down here to the Egyptian merchant, there's meats, there's Egyptian bread, and we've got spices. So let's open up a slot and start producing one of each of those. Next one we got down there is King Tut's Hut. We can open up a slot there as well. Can't make any of these just yet because we need these resources. But we've got Egyptian tea, we've got Bessera, and we've got Alexandrian sausage. Oh, I like the look of that one. That looks yummy. Next one down there, we can do the same thing again. We can open up these slots. We can start producing some of these goods. Can't do all of them just yet. But we've got some spices down there that are necessary. Then we can make some the full midame. We can make a kebab, which I adore. And then the mmm ali. Oh yeah, that looks lovely, doesn't it? So Nefreti Nosha. We've got King Tut's hut and we've got the Egyptian merchant stall. Three areas to focus on for the event. Now orders down there and then there's the leaders board as well. Currently you can see that only a few people have done some gold orders. Ranking not started yet. We will get there though as we get closer to the qualifying time. My team likes to start a little bit later, but we're producing now. Now, down there, you can see that uh, the orders will be done sooner rather than later. Even though it's saying there's one there needs to be done, not quite yet. Now, in my last stream, I focused on my design over here, which was very nice. I had some people visiting. I got Peter over there playing with the pussycats. I got uh, another young lady here who's up ready for dinner. We got another person over here who's having a bit of a toilet break. Yeah, and that was fun to do. But that design is now over, and I will be breaking that down and working on a new design. So, Egyptian decoration. Let's have a shifty. Now, starting off here with the tables, we've got some nice wicker cafe tables, Egyptian tables, and a boat table. I like the look of those. Okay, that's going to be fun to choose. I can keep my water design and maybe have a bit of a Nile experience there. Doors-wise, we've got the Egyptian door down there and the double Egyptian for two of the bronze tokens. We've got the cream tiled walls, hieroglyphics. We've got the Egyptian palace walls, pyramid walls. We've got some windows down there, I like the shutter windows, that looks nice. Might grab a few of those again. We've got some nice palace columns down there, which look very good. Some I've already got, some I don't have. And a few other decorative pieces that relate to this theme. A lot of these you see from previous events, some of those I've already gotten as well. Next one down there is the Cursed Treasure Pile, okay, the Golden Scarab Statue, we've got the Palace Torch and a few other pieces down there, so time to start building a pyramid. Now I like the look of the Mummy Statue, I think I want to grab some of those, but four bronzes on that one. Definitely one that I don't have in my collection, and I think that would be cool. Now we've got special decoration. There's the crocodile pet, there's the scarab beetle, very nice indeed. There's the sphinx cat, the blue baby hippo, and the Anubis dog. Now as a creator for the games company, I can give away animals in my stream. So if you'd like a chance to get one of these animals free of charge without having to pay for it, join my stream, enter the giveaways that I do every time I do a Food Street stream, and maybe you can win one of those. Now as I do my stream over two weeks, okay, you've also got the chance to win the Egyptian Oasis pool. Now if you don't want to choose any of those decos uh, or pets, you can pick and choose from the other ones, but you have that lovely chance to get a few extra to pieces. Next one down there relates to the actual 
path pieces. We've got a, a few nice ones down there. The water tile I'm already using. So I think I need to start making these path pieces into a sand path. Do you know what? I'm going to do that now, I think. So let's hide everything. I'm going to bring the path piece out. And I think I'm going to turn this into a sand design. Now this means I need to get rid of the other decoration as well. And then maybe start being a little bit more creative with this as well. So definitely lovely, lovely, lovely. Look at that. And as you can see, that does look pretty good. I might keep the coffee maker though and the bakery. It depends. we we'll have a decision or decide about this. So when we do my live stream, Next live stream, in fact, all my live streams for Food Street are on Saturday. I usually do it between 9 and 12, so why not head on over and join us? Uh, have a look at some other people's designs as well, see what the community is creating. Uh, join us, chat, have a bit of fun. They're very relaxing. Conversations definitely do vary, and we have a lot of people from different backgrounds joining, so why not participate as well? Okay, let's have a look. That actually looks pretty good. I like that. So, and what I also need to do is to change my design. So, my building design that I did have needs to be redone. So, I might make that into a pyramid. Uh, and I'll do that in the weekend stream. So, all of this around the outside also needs to change as well. So, so we get rid of this. In fact, what I might do is just place all of that as a sand piece now. That'll give me all of the inside as well. And that will be much, much cooler to activate. So definitely. Okay. When I do my stream uh, on the weekend, I can uh, take all those pieces away and turn that into a nice desert scene. Okay, let's have a look at it. So we zoom out and you can see the sand effect I've done. This will modify, of course. Uh, that pyramid will disappear. We'll stick that back into storage. Come down with the decoration for the outside pieces. And we've got that wonderful big pyramid piece I can stick back into that section there, which has that waterfall design, which is very pretty. Maybe stick a few of these in different locations because they are kind of small. And this creates a bit of a, a pyramid style imagery. I'll take my bicycles away. Yeah, I like that. I do. I do. If I want to do more, though, I'm going to have to pay for the rest of those, so we'll hold off. We do have some obelisks as well. We can bring those down, put those into different locations to make it interesting. I might stick one over here, actually. There we go. We've got a palace art trade which we can save. There's a bit of a plane down there that we can use for situations. So I might stick my plane over in there. So there we go. And then we've got some other cool decoration we can stick in different locations. So put that one down there. We've got some smashed up buildings that we can add into this as well. So I might put that one in that location. There we go, which means removing the tables. So we we'll take that out of the way, take that out of the way. We we'll get rid of the stands now because I don't need that. There's some tables we can lose as well. This will give me the ability to place down those other tables that are there. And I can place those into the water as well because this is a, a Nile style effect. Uh, and then I can use those pieces very nicely indeed. Oh, that'd be good actually. Hmm. Definitely. Okay, right. Well, I'm not going to do too much designing now. I think I'll work on the rest of it in my live stream. So why not come and join me as we modify the design and make it more of an Egyptian theme? Right. Also as well. Yeah just collect that. There's trucks to be done. That looks interesting and I reckon I could do that one. Do one of those. Another one of those. Go get the blueberries. There we go. Get that one done too. 
you know, we've got some milk down there, need a little bit more milk, let's go activate that one, okay, we need some greens, some greens down there as well, get those greens up and running, there we go, I like that, and we collect the meat from that one, and then start with the milk, beautiful. Now after I've done the greens again, I then need to come back and do the corn, which I can do later. So that will be perfect as well. Yes, there's an order there. I'll take that one, trash that one, trash that one, don't need that. And we can accept that one, that's beautiful. Okay, who's making a request? Nobody. Okay. And get on with the rest of the event. So ba boom ba boom ba boom. Keep producing, keep producing. And we need more of these products. So I'm definitely going to need quite a lot of these. I need to open that up as well later. So in fact, let's go get some of these. I'll spend my blues on the tokens. Get those activated. I got plenty of blues from the event, so I'm still good on that side. This is my main reason for getting the blues. There we go. How's my storage looking now? That's better. Right now, uh, let's open that one up for later. That'll be ready. And we need more of these goods later, so we get those done. Can't upgrade the machines just yet until we get to the next level. Going to need tomatoes soon as well, so once they've grown, I'll get those up and ready. Okay, I like this. I can see this developing into a very, very cool design indeed. So let's start clearing away some of the inside pieces. There goes my uh, restaurant information. That's all gone as well. The bakery, the wine. Move those out of the way. There we go. Take away the stand. Take away those beautiful windows as well. Get that out of the way. Take away the bread. Keep the table. Okay. Uh, take the table out of the way. What I can do is bring another Egyptian table down into there so she's still seated in that location. And then maybe, maybe, maybe I can have some fun with that one later. There we go. Take away that. Sorry, my friend. Remove that one. Take the log pile. Don't need the phone box. Take away the wine. Take away the wine. There we go. Beautiful. We'll remove the doors as well and take away the rubbish bin. Okay, I like that. I will remove the fence, I think, as well. I we'll change that. Uh, oh, why is there some nice pieces, but nothing really that matches up with what I want on there. Outdoor has the palace columns. They could be cool, but I don't think that would be suitable. Uh, maybe if I get some more palm trees and stick them across the outside, that could be interesting. There's the palace archway that I could definitely use in this design. So if I go with a palace design, I can put that there, remove all the other pieces. So like take away my lamps as well while I'm at it before I forget. If I take away these ones there, this is what I'm going to do tomorrow, I think. Yes, yes, we'll work on a beautiful design. Lovely. Bring that back down a little bit, and then we've got the wall pieces there. So there's a gorgeous cream tile wall that could come off to the edge like so, uh, and have it as a nice entrance piece there. That would be good. So that's a starting point. Or what I'm tempted to do is if I bring that forward one, and then put the blocks back there so it's behind it, that would create a nice little uh, appearance to enter there. We've got windows as well, which are very beautiful. The trouble is they don't really match up with this one. The curtain ones kind of do, the shutter ones do. But I want something that goes more with that design style. Door-wise, we've got some different styles of door pieces there. So again, very cool indeed. But um, again, I'll work on that another day. Okay, right, that's it for the moment, I think. I will tweak and adjust this design tomorrow. Have a little bit of fun. I've also got the event which I'm working on. 
which will be cool for me and I'm definitely going to need a lot of sugar to get the spices on this one so we'll start producing for the event five days and ten hours okay another 13 hours and 50 or 14 hours before we start so plenty of time for me to start getting ready I can't wait this is going to be fun Right, that's me, Reg, going to say goodbye for the moment. Come and join me another day for my live stream. I will see you next time. You take care, and we've got a wonderful Egyptian theme within the game at the moment. So, let's get cooking. Bye now.